what I originally saw Cosmos as was a way to save Bitcoin, where I think the Bitcoin blockchain protocol is kind of meh. Uh, but the token still has this like vision and the token is almost this like meme that like represents like the vision of the space. And so to me, Cosmos was a way for the Bitcoin token to escape the Bitcoin blockchain and, you know, inherit some of the advantages and features of all these other blockchains like Ethereum and Zcash and all these new innovative features. After I joined Cosmos, I got really uh, interested in proof of stake as well as blockchain uh, interoperability. And so nowadays I've been focusing a lot of my research on uh, proof of stake crypto economics as well as uh, low levels of the IBC protocol. It doesn't matter what your background is, as long as you have curiosity and like the spirit to do the research. I think the most important quality in, in people that we're looking for are like the ability to, to um, ask good questions and to doubt yourself um, and to doubt everything really. And to never be like stuck in a local minimum uh, where you know you feel like oh this is the solution and then you you stick to that and you never change like that's 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 the wrong approach but it's the approach that most people take because it's pretty natural. So my advice for younger people and students who are interested in getting involved involved with blockchain and uh, cryptocurrencies, um, I would say like if your school has like an organization that's based around this stuff, uh, definitely try to partake in that. And I think one of the keys uh, to me how I learned about all this stuff was by teaching. So I realized the key to like learning something is sign up to teach it next week, so you better learn it this week. I just learned that that's how I learned, <laughs> okay.